Hey everybody, Ben here for the Bonnet Podcast, and it is Blood Bowl preview day today, which is very exciting. We're going to see the next team landing for this season of Blood Bowl, which is cool. So I am actually live from Sorrento, and it's absolutely lovely, and the only thing that can make this holiday any better is new Blood Bowl news. So let's have a look and see the next team. And the next team is going to be Amazons. Now, you knew this, I knew this, we all knew this because they gave a, an incredibly blatant clue uh, towards the end of last week, didn't they? With, uh, you know, a jungle picture and basically the crossword puzzle cue for the answer of Amazon. So we knew it was going to be Amazon, Amazon delivery, Amazon team. Now, what we were kind of expecting is a few changes to the rosters. Now, the Warhammer community preview today didn't give anything on the uh, on the actual rules what they have done is showed us the box set and some of the names of the player types so we can see that this box set here i'm so used to waving my left hand around and having it go over the picture um 12 players okay now they've gone with the heavy design on that amazon aspect right it looks like very tribal aztec armor which really befits it it's done reasonably tastefully which is nice we're all worried about that when it comes to the amazon team but what we do know is that there are two throwers four six line women who are called something different now we'll have a look at that in a second and then positionals there are two different positionals so it doesn't look like it's going to be a box set of 12 players with four blitzers it looks like there's two blitzers now and two blockers so let's see if we can skip ahead in this video and grab some of the graphics because it's not quite up on the Warhammer community just yet. So we've got the Amazon Python Warrior, which is going to be the thrower. <laughs> now, they had an interesting one on the community where they talked about how fast Amazon were and how they had a great air game. I don't know about you, but I don't think I've ever seen an Amazon team really run a thrower, let alone actually throw the ball. This could mean that we are going to get some actual throwing ability on the Amazon team, which would be a really interesting way to add an element to the team that, quite frankly, it's not had historically in any way, shape or form. Sure, there's a thrower, but the thrower is Ange 3+, plus, now passing 3+, plus with no sure hands. Basically a leader caddy at best, right? Well, actually, we could see, <laughs> we could see that improve. Now, looking at the models as they are, they are the Python Warriors, and they've got snakes draped around them. So there is obviously a possibility that we might have something like Prehensile Tail or, or Tentacles. I think it's pretty unlikely, um, but we might see that kind of represent um, extra arms or something to, for the pickup. Now, we don't have the rules yet, so this is all conjecture, but that would be pretty useful. They can keep them at Edge 3+, plus, but with some kind of boost for that, it would be really good. Now, on the Warcom preview they did talk about the amazon piranha warrior uh, and described them as the blockers no actually they described these as the blitzers um which is going to be interesting so some of the players have got spikes on their arms like they've got like spiked uh, gauntlets basically which i think is pretty cool and i don't know if that's gonna kind of foreshadow any skills obviously we will have more information coming out about this team over the next couple of weeks but could be interesting the piranha warrior who's described as the blitzer chunky good armor chunky thighs to be fair this is a strong looking positional no spikes on the van braces no armored gauntlets so it's going to be interesting to see what kind of skill set the blitzer as they described it would be that's the piranha warrior so piranha is uh potentially the blitzer oh no i've gone too far there is a jaguar warrior now this i think there were some rumors of a strength four piece for the amazon team and I believe someone actually did mention Jaguar Warrior. Now, the Jaguar Warrior has been stated as the blitzer of the team. And looking at the armor, you know what? They've got the claws, so we might see a claw aspect. There was rumors that there would be a strength four claws piece. Doesn't look particularly strength four, but if you think about the Ulf Warrior models, they were basically the same size as a human lineman. So we can't really go by that anymore. This one, though more armor than the rest with the armored gauntlets a really cool pose and i think that's something we have to say is that the the dynamism of all of these sculpts is really pretty cool and you can't want more than that so we've got python throwers we've got uh oh, i've got piranha blitzers potentially jaguar blockers and then if we roll forward ever so slightly this will come to the line people the linemen for the team which are the eagle warriors um now these 
guys have all got van braces with some short claws on them. So that kind of ties the position all together. Again, I don't think that's going to be um, something that we see in the rules. The, you know, the last, the, the, the blitzer piece with the big claws, we might see claws, especially if they move to kind of a bit more of an offensive action. And we've got the Eagle Warriors here, which are definitely going to be the line woman. Cool looking, like lots of good posing. Uh, there's plenty of detail there. It's nothing incredible. Paint job's pretty nice. And you've got those eagle hands, which I guess ties them into the Eagle Warriors. So that is what we know about the team from the preview. I'm just going to scroll forward and see if there was any other graphics that I'd missed when they were talking about it. But I don't think so. So the Kara Temple Harpies is the team. And as we know from the positionals, we can see they've got two of the Jaguars, which are the Blitzers. We've got, um, where are the one there and one there two of the piranha blockers no two piranha blockers two piranha blitzers yeah two piranha blitzers two jaguar blockers two python throwers and six line women so as far as the amazon team rule set doesn't look like it's massively changed there's no big guy that we can see yet there's no funny positional like a beer ball this is looking like what they've done is taken four blitzers for the Amazon team and changed two of them to blockers, which will be quite an interesting angle on the team. OK, so the Warcom article is now up. So let's have a look and see what they've got to say. Sometimes they let things slip in the video part. Sometimes they clear it up a bit um, when the article lands. So uh, revealed the Amazons are here to rip up the gridiron in Blood Bowl. Uh, new tidings from the old world straight from the sweltering jungles of Lustria. The Amazon team is here to tear up the Astro Granite. This is a classic team brought back to life in vivid detail. Toot toot. Uh, with more than a few tweaks for the modern game of Blood Bowl. Sorry, Sorrento traffic. Kitted out in fabulous teal and saffron livery, the Kara Temple Harpies are organised into distinct positionals inspired by their martial culture. Teams field Piranha Warrior Blitzers, Python Warrior Throwers, Jaguar Warrior Blockers, and Eagle Warrior Line Women. So we've seen this. So these are, uh, as we've just looked at, these are the Jaguars. Okay, so the Jaguars are the Blockers, even though they look a bit more like uh, Blitzers. You've got the Eagle Line Women, You've got the python throwers and then you've got the big uh, piranha blitzers, which is cool. Amazon teams are as ferocious on the pitch as they are defending their hidden homelands from marauding foes. And they'll soon be ready for primetime matches in the world of Blood Bowl. And you can see some of the art, which really fits in with the Blood Bowl aesthetic that they're going for these days, which is quite cartoony. And I really like it. Our sports reporters will have more details soon. In the meantime, the Warhammer Preview Online Hub has all the latest announcements. Okay, so that is everything. That's everything that we know. So what was I hoping for? I was hoping for something a little bit interesting to, to shake up the... I mean, Amazon's became very linear. Okay, you can you can try some stuff, but it it's one of those cases where it's actually a little bit subpar to invest too heavily in throwers or catchers, which means your whole line is the four blitzers and then making the rest of your line women into blitzers as quickly as you can. It wasn't the most exciting or dynamic of teams. Now, at least we've got one more positional in there and we don't even know that it's limited. OK, so from some of the other Games Workshop kits, we've seen that they can have 0 to 4 blitzers, but you're only getting two in the box. I think the Orcs was potentially the most egregious of that. Um, some of the other kits more recently have had everything like, like Norse from the last period. Everything in the box, literally everything, unless you need more linemen, which is awesome. Like, that's really good. I would expect this to kind of follow the same pattern. And, you know, with, with 12 dudes in the box, it, it's plenty for the team. And historically, that's what Amazons have wanted. But it comes down to this. The catchers are gone, which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping to have a bit more speed in the Amazon team. The catchers are gone. The throwers, I'm hoping, are going to be boosted so they're actually worth taking now. Now, whether that's going to be playing into the snake element of it, where they might have extra hands or... I mean, something like Prehensile Tail or Tentacles would be garbage. Like, as good as Dodge is to protect your player... If your player is strength 3 and armor 8 plus, one solid hit and the player's down. So that's not, it's not, you don't want to stand next to somebody with prehensile tail or tentacles, tentacles unless you're strength 4, strength 5 and have block and actual armor. These players, 
none of that so potentially not the best thing and you don't want to do that with your thrower anyway this is why i hate dump off as a skill it's just because i'm like a skill that comes into play only when you are ripe for a punching is just asking for it so be interesting to see what they do with the throwers there having them move seven having them passing two plus would be really interesting the team getting a boost to agility would be really interesting some of the preamble did say that they're as fast as elves without being elves which is just not true at all they got the dodge element, sure, but dodge on 3+, plus, not brilliant. Like, it will work, but not brilliant. And, add, and, and movement 6 is just as fast as a couple of elf linemen who have better armor so and better agility. So, yeah, not as fast as elves. So I wonder if we're going to see a bit of a speed boost. Potentially, like, the blitzers might get movement 7, especially if it looks like there's going to be only two of them. So really interesting one, no funny little guys, no exciting big guys, but there is a change of positional where the catcher is gone and we've got a new positional in the uh, Piranha Blitzer and the Jaguar Blocker replacing the Blitzer slot. So could be really interesting. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up. Please let me know what you think of the Amazon new team, whether you like the models, what you think they're going to do with the positionals. And I'm going to go back to my holiday. So thanks very much for watching. We'll be back soon with more purple content. Happy blocking. Thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you want to help support the channel even further, please like and subscribe or come join us on our Patreon. We have early access to content. We get loads of feedback from you guys and we try and do competitions as much as we can. Or you can get yourself some Bonehead Podcast merch on our Spreadshirt site. So if you want to support a team, especially for the Bonehead Championship, you can pick up a shirt, a mug, things like that. It all helps support the channel and we really appreciate it. Anyway, links below. Thank you very much. Happy blocking.